Hello! Today we're looking at a 2007 Toyota Camry with the uh, 3.5 liter V6, very popular platform. And this particular Camry has a uh, check engine light on with the codes uh, P0305 and P0355, which indicates a, uh, a misfire on cylinder number 5 and a failure of the ignition coil. Uh, which is not an altogether uncommon failure on these vehicles, so we're going to need to get in and replace one of these guys. Um, as you can see, I've already pulled the uh, the three front um, ignition coils. Uh, very easy to access. The uh, the rear ones not so much. the uh, The cylinder numbering is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're trying to replace this ignition coil. Um, since uh, we're going to have to remove the uh, the intake manifold this uh, this large plastic piece um, which can be somewhat involved uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace the spark plugs as well this uh, this vehicle has a little over hundred thousand miles so we're not quite at the uh, 120,000 mile service interval for the uh, the spark plugs yet but we're getting close so it's uh, definitely a good idea to get two birds with one stone while you're in there um, and this procedure is obviously going to work for uh, for doing the spark plugs as well if, uh, if all your ignition coils are fine and you're just doing the spark plugs. So as I mentioned, I already replaced the, uh, the front three uh, spark plugs here and pulled the front three ignition coils. And in the back, we're going to have an ignition coil that looks just like this. Plugs in just like that. And we're just going to pop it out. I got one online for uh, a new ignition coil for 25 bucks, and the spark plugs a little bit more. Um, so it's not, not an expensive part, but uh, it can be a little bit uh, a little bit expensive if you take it to a shop because we, we're going to have to pull this uh, intake manifold right here. So uh, we're just going to get started. I've already removed the engine cover obviously and we need to uh, disconnect um, some of these uh, vacuum lines, um, this uh, electrical connector over here on the left, um, the uh, the air box and throttle body, just, uh, just kind of the obvious uh, things that we need to disconnect. So we're going to get started with that. And we've disconnected the uh, air box and uh, the throttle body and that was uh, very straightforward. There's just some vacuum hoses here that, uh, that all disconnect very easily. Then these four 10 millimeter bolts that uh, attach the throttle body to the uh, intake manifold and then that air box uh, just has these uh, snap clips that pop off and then the, uh, the air box tips up like this and slides back. I actually found it easier to, uh, to just remove the inter uh, intermediate piece between the throttle body and the, uh, the air cleaner box uh, so it was easier to slide back but uh, all that was, uh, was very straightforward. Next we're going to remove these uh, front fasteners here. There's just some 5mm uh, hex allens and then 10mm uh, uh, nuts. Alright, we've got all these uh, front fasteners removed and next we need to get the uh, rear bracket connectors. And Here's the one on the driver's side. I've got this uh, ratchet on it back here. It's a 12mm. Then there's a matching one on the other side and for that we're going to need to uh, move this uh, wiring harness out of the way and get back there and remove it. And we removed the, uh, the driver side uh, bracket. I just got done removing the, uh, the passenger side uh, rear bracket as well. Um, as you can see I disconnected the wiring harness uh, bracket right here and pushed the engine wiring harness out of the way and I could get my arm back here and, um, and the, the mount is kind of right here to give you an idea of where it is and I just uh, <coughs> had a quarter inch ratchet with a uh, deep well 12 millimeter and just kind of came in like this uh, and I had lots of uh, lots of room with the uh, the quarter inch ratchet the 3 8 inch is a little uh, little too big for that space but now we've got all the uh, fasteners disconnected and the, uh, the intake is loose and we're ready to pull it out and here we have the uh, intake manifold removed and everything out of the way um, it's always a good idea to uh, service these gaskets whenever you do the intake manifold, a good opportunity to do that. Just as we are uh, taking the opportunity to do the, uh, the spark plugs while release, uh, replacing that ignition coil. So what I'm after is this ignition coil back here, number five, but they're all going to be pretty much the same. Um, they just plug in, just a coil on plug, just like that. Um, there's a 10 millimeter fastener that secures each of them. They pull out. Then a standard uh, 5 eighths um, for the spark plugs. Here I've got a uh, set of uh, extensions and a 5 eighths 
that plugs in and locks on there to, uh, to pull the spark plugs if you're servicing the spark plugs. And then uh, we're just going to put everything back together uh, in reverse order. There's nothing, uh, nothing too tricky about it. Um, so as you can see, this isn't a, a complicated procedure, but it can be a little bit time consuming. They've certainly uh, done a lot better job making this easier to service than it was on the 3.3 uh, the liter, if you've ever worked on one of those. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on the video, and I'll do my best to try to help. Thanks.